EDF works with the oil and gas industry in a number of ways to catalyze, accelerate, and scale innovative methane solutions. We're talking about vast, um, highly technical infrastructure that for many people can be difficult to relate to. And so leveraging a tool like virtual reality to contextualize the work that we do is a really powerful medium and channel to make our issue more relatable. The really interesting thing about VR is like when you put on the headset and go to one, into one of these experiences, we use phrases like, you go into the experience and you remember it as a memory of being somewhere versus the memory of like reading about it or watching a video about it. It is like at its core level, like creating memories for people. VR was dubbed the empathy engine or the empathy machine. Um, that is 100% true in the fact that it enables you to put someone in someone else's shoes in a way that's never been possible before. So for me personally, I can't remember the first time I read about fracking, but I absolutely remember the first time I went to a frack site. And I remember the smells and the sounds and the visuals. And so we were creating that aha moment, that moment of clarity in virtual reality, which is extremely powerful. So we're essentially creating a new visual medium and new storytelling rules. And so through this virtual reality experience, you know, we're, we're showcasing commercially available um, tools and technologies that are here today that can help us find and fix leaks fast and cost effectively. Yeah, it's, just, it's a complicated story to tell and it uses very cutting edge technology. But what I think really surprises people once they learn about it is that the solutions are very simple. Methane is an opportunity, um, and it's an opportunity in a few ways. It's an opportunity for innovators who are creating new technologies. It's an opportunity in the data and analytics space. You know, oil field digitization is this huge frontier for industry, and there's opportunity to plug methane management into that. Yeah, I think methane emissions in particular being like an invisible, odorless threat you know, it, it's hard for that message to kind of come across in traditional media, but like being on a well site, feeling like you're standing there and holding the analyzer and seeing the, the readings or looking through the camera and seeing the emitter, that I think really brings it to life to people. I think the biggest challenge for this virtual reality project was the balance between technical accuracy and resource intensity. We really strive to be representative and tell an accurate story of what it can feel like to be out in the oil field, but at the same time recognizing that this is a simulation. And so we designed a facility that is regionally agnostic, but technically specific and nuanced enough that it really highlights some of the key facets of the challenge that we're facing. We're actually asking them to physically pick up a uh, an infrared camera or a portable analyzer and like through their actions figure out where methane leaks come from and how they can be solved. It's that solutions-based approach that a VR experience like this can really give. And this goes back to that idea of learned experience. If you read about fixing something versus going into a headset and fixing it yourself, that imprint mm -hmm. um, on your memory, really, it's gonna stick with you uh, potentially forever. I think for EDF, where we see these tools playing a role in our work is to help us accelerate and globalize our messaging. You know, methane is, is a global challenge and we currently are racing against the clock to get the world on board implementing methane mitigation solutions and tools like virtual reality can really help us accelerate the rate of awareness. Yeah, so our, our developers now know more about the oil and gas industry than I thought they ever would. When you're in the headset, it will feel both familiar to you, um, but also has that like sheen of, oh, I'm in a simulated well site, which the VR also kind of helps tell that story. Like, oh yeah, I'm wearing a VR headset, I'm looking at holograms of the well sites. Um, so that way the user can focus more on the leak story and not get you know wrapped up in the minutia. I think that's a great point. And maybe another, another way of thinking about that is, you know, a Qatari facility 
could be completely different to a Russian facility, right. could be completely different to an American facility, but the methane at all of them is exactly the same. And so for us, it's really important to showcase that methane is a global issue across facilities worldwide. Right. Everyone can relate to it regardless of their infrastructure. But then it also drives home the point that these leaks can happen anywhere and you need to use high-tech equipment to find them, but the solutions may be as low-tech as closing a hatch. That maybe some of our audience aren't on the well site all the time, or maybe have never been on the well site, or haven't thought about the well site in these terms. And by showing them like real world fixes to real world hardware, um, that creates a, a memory and a, a sensation that's just not possible with other mediums. While the user or a human can't see methane with the naked eye, this idea of that like a robot can. So she's bringing the invisible to visible. So I think that virtual reality is an incredible way to communicate technically complex global issues to a diverse audience. And creating that learned experience without words um, and really imprinting that message and that call to action through activity and through visualization really means that the takeaways from, from this experience are going back home with every user. It achieves a sense of place in a in a way that's difficult to achieve in a real world scenario. It's like taking all the attendees to a, to a well site. It does a really great job of sense of scale, like really seeing what those plumes look like. It's, it's very different seeing a large plume on a video screen and versus looking at it like one to one. Uh, VR represents scale in a, in a real life fashion, which no other medium on earth has ever achieved. It's those experiences and that personal interaction with this problem that people are gonna go home with, mm -hmm. go back to their office with, and hopefully say, this might be happening at my company and we can solve it now. You need no word to understand methane. Everyone sees the same leak. Everyone feels the same camera in their hand. Mm. And so you don't need written language to understand that this is a problem. VR allows you to understand the problem by seeing it. I think success will look like new uh, oil and gas industry members and audiences that take this as a call to action. Folks that maybe didn't know that the solutions were out there and go home and start to explore how they can incorporate cameras and analyzers and continuous monitors and drones into their existing or new leak detection and repair programs and really start to manage methane um, in other parts of the world.